how to use the Time Approval Center. First, to open the Time Approval Center, we can use the shortcut on the daily bar, or we can go through the Operations menu down to Time Approval Center. First, we'll make it full screen so it's easier to use. And on the bottom left, you'll notice that the date is set for yesterday. Whenever you open Time Approval Center, it will always open yesterday's date to approve yesterday's hours. You can change the date by either using the left arrow or the right arrow, or we can hit the calendar button here and you can select any date. On to approving hours. Your employee records will be divided into different folders depending on what's happening. Employees will go into standard hours if their clock-ins match their scheduled work shift, missing swipes if they missed a punch, and variance if their clock-ins vary from their scheduled shift. So first we'll start with our missing swipes. Here we have Ann Johnson. I'll just hit this little plus to open up her record. And here we can see that she clocked in at 9 but never clocked out. She has a schedule here for 9 to 5 p.m. To fix this, I just right click anywhere on this record. And then we want to fix the out time, so we go out time. And then here, if I know she left at 5 p.m., I can do from scheduled shift that will automatically fill her out time to be 5 p.m. Or if I know she left at a different time, I can go manually. And very important, if it's PM, we'll want to make sure we specify that it's PM or enter it as military time. Then we'll hit OK. All right, and now we have to do variance and standard hours. Next, we'll go to Variance, and here we have a summary of each employee and their total paid time for the day. To view any record, we just click on the individual person. So here we can see Jim. He is a variance because he is arriving 30 minutes late from the schedule. And we just entered that she left early. Steve left an hour early. Tina has no scheduled shift. Once you go through all your variances, you can then approve the records. You can approve one at a time if you like by right-clicking on the name, going approve, and then hitting approve. Or if you've gone through all your records as I just did, you can do what I prefer to do, which is just approve the group. And there we go, all variances are approved. Now all we have left is standard hours. So standard hours, all of these people we can just approve because they're coming in exactly on time according to the schedule. Now all our records are approved. The only category left here is no record and nothing needs to be done with these. These are employees who didn't clock in, are not scheduled to be on any vacation, they just have a day off. However, if you need to add a record on any employee in this list, all you need to do is right click on that employee. Then you can select add time if it's a shift. Or you can do add absent if you want to add that they were not there for any particular absent reason. To add time, we go manually. Then we type in the time that they worked. And for adding absent, we right click, add absent, select our absent code, enter our absent time, eight hours, Enter any paid time if that's applicable, and then OK.